My name's Tim. Right now I'm a freelance uh, editor and director, mostly editing because well, there's more money in that at the moment. I studied film at the HKU, which is the uh, High School of the Arts in Utrecht, which is one of the one of the few film schools in Holland. Uh, when I was studying film, I had two options for an uh, internship. Uh, one was at a big film set, and one was at a really small time thing with like two people, and they're really you know trying to get the foot in the door of like making actual films and getting funding for that. And I was really conf conflicted because at one point I hated the film set, especially if it's not my own. I absolutely hate that. Um, but it's the big league, you know, you're with the big players, there's five light trucks, there's a big director attached to it. So I called uh, one of my tutors, who is Daisy Tenel, she's a, a big person. She wrote like the Dutch manual for producing films. And she said like, why the fuck would you ever go on the big set? I know you, you like to make things and you, you don't care if it's small things and silly things. Uh, but as long as you can make something, you're going to be happy. You're going to be so miserable on a big set being just a little part of, 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 a, of a big chain of people. Um, and so I did that. And after graduation, uh, they sort of never forgot about me because I was supposed to do production work with that smaller company. Um, but I didn't do the production work because I hate calling people on the phone. Uh, so I just started doing all their editing work. And they were like, yeah, he does it pretty well. And then after graduation, they sort of came back to me and that's how I sort of got the start. I did still have to do a day job for three years though. So let, the, let this, <laughs> don't study film, never study film. <laughs> it was a, a project that was sort of fell in my lap. It's uh, quite different from the things I would normally pursue out of my own interest. Uh, but it was a chance to, um, to direct something, not have to produce it yourself, not have to put your own money into it, which is sounds kind of silly, but as most starting film directors will notice, it's actually a luxury not to have to produce your own stuff and uh, pay for your own stuff. So I was like, yeah, this, this, is, this is a great opportunity. I'll show up for this. I'll put time and effort into this uh, fair deal. And at the same time, it was something that's so opposite from what I usually do because I'd Earlier after graduation, I tried to talk to like commercial companies and the only things I could show were really like they're quite, quite a bit dark and uh, quite a bit cynical. And you just notice that it doesn't click with them because commercials are usually very, you know, uplifting, happy, jolly. So I, this was an, a great opportunity to make something that is, uh, yeah, fun. And the screening it here tonight was actually uh, with the laughs was a good indication that those things work. I can make jolly things. <laughs> uh, I can make people laugh, so that's a good thing. I actually hate being on the set. You know, it's like constant pressure. People are being annoying. You have to interact with a lot of people. If you're not a very social person, that's quite difficult. Uh, so I try to avoid the set as most as possible. But there is a part in me that really wants to direct. So I'm willing to suffer through it uh, if it means that I can do my own thing. But on this short film, the camera, which was an Ari Alexa, did fall off the tripod uh, and break. Not only did it do that, it also hit the wall and make a hole in the wall of the person's apartment that we were filming in. That happens. <laughs> Just make sure you're insured. That's the one thing. I like things with a dark kind of humor. I like things that are a bit slower. One of the things that you do find in my work is a, a focus on sound and music, which I do really like, despite the fact that I don't like when music is very, very overbearing, which is weird because in this film it's nothing but music. And, and there's another element which you can find that wasn't so much in the script as it is in the final product. Uh, it's this sort of anxiety that's always there. And like in this case, it's a very silly anxiety, like, oh, I have a date, it needs to be perfect. She brings a bottle of wine, I need to have the wine opener. <laughs> From a very young age, I had a very active imagination in a way. Uh, I'm one of those weird, I used to be one of those weird kids that used to talk to themselves, like actually have dialogue with myself. Uh, and I think from that stems to sort of like, I would just be walking and just imagining scenes happening around me and having conversations with myself. But then life kicks in, you know, 
uh, there's the pressure of school, high school, your parents want you to study something. So I did what every responsible person did. I studied commercial economics. And then I dropped out and went to Haku to actually do that. It's just about the, the constant drive of my brain to at least create scenes uh, that made me want to put those out there in a way. But it took a long time for my, um, uh, for my insecurities and doubts to kind of make way to actually do that because making a film is not something you do by yourself. You don't just grab a camera and film shit. Uh, what you're gonna end up with is just you shooting, I don't know, the bark of a tree or something or flowers. You need about 20 people around you and you need to talk to actors and you need to tell everyone exactly what they need to do. So it, it does make sense that, for example, uh, an institute like Film Academy says on their website, like, if you're 18, fresh out of high school, go go to some village in Africa, go do some volunteer work, you know, you got to develop yourself. And that makes absolute sense because um, you do need to be very uh, stable and to stand really uh, steady in your shoes to do it. Uh, and then, of course, you make it and it turns out to be shit. It's always shit after you're done. It's always terrible. Uh, and then that's another thing you got to deal with. <laughs> and then you got to pick yourself up and do it all over again.